Assalamualaikum and good day to everyone. So we are going to discuss the topic three, which is the selection and speciation for the module mitochondria. Okay, so let's have a look at the first question, right? State the types of reproductive isolation based on example given. All right, so now let's recall back what is the iso uh, pre reproductive isolation, okay? So let's have a look first. All right, so our keyword is given here, uh, reproductive isolation. Okay, so what is the point for the reproductive isolation? Okay, as you know, uh, when the fertilization between the same species, okay, so fertilization occur, so they will be produce the fertile and viable offspring. Okay, so this is the natural condition. But when there is a, a reproductive isolation, so they might have a two problem here. Okay, one we call as a prezygotic and another one is the post. Postzygotic means after the fertilization occur and this one before the mating occur. Okay, so the problem is might arise due to the temporal, uh, habitat, behavior, okay, uh, mechanical and gametic or this one during the mating. And if you are discussing about the postzygotic means the mating occur, the fertilization is successfully occur, but the zygote form having a problem. Okay, for example, they're having a hybrid inviability, hybrid breakdown, and hybrid stability. So you have to understand the condition. But normally there is a keyword. Okay, for example, like the mating season, that is a keyword for the temporal or seasonal. Okay, different habitat. So this one will be the habitat eco uh, habitat for ecological isolation. Uh, sexual behavior. Uh, see, the keyword is behavior. So it's a behavioral isolation. Okay. Uh, sex structure organ. So this one for the mechanical and for the gametic isolation. Uh, like the gamete cannot uh, fertilize. At the point, the, the, the gamete will be uh, die eventually. Okay. So actually, there is a keyword that you uh, easily to memorize. Okay. So now let's look at the situation. Okay. So this is the example. Okay, so I'm sure you all can remember. So if a prezygotic, we have uh, this four, and postzygotic, we have a three. Okay, so let's go to the question. All right, so they give you here the case. Okay, some salamander subspecies of the genus Astina live in the same region, okay, and habitat where they may occasionally hybridize. But most of the hybrids do not complete development, okay? And those do are frail, okay? So means they are still staying in the same region or same habitat, okay? Means they're able to hybridize. But most of the hybrids, okay? Hybrids means here they are offspring, okay? Do not complete development. So the best idea for this one will be the Reduce hybrid viability or hybrid viability. Okay, so it's can acceptable this one also. Hybrid viability means this one is the postzygotic. Okay, so when the question asks about the reproductive isolation, so first you have to identify is it pre or post. So this question is the post. Okay, next. Okay, uh, the hybrid of spring. Of a male donkey and a female horse. Okay, so horse and donkey is a mule, which is the robust of the sterile. A hini of the offspring of the female donkey and male are also sterile. Okay, means the mating is occur between the donkey and the horse. So this one also is the example for the uh, post. Okay, so this one also for the post. So, the best answer is what means their baby is a sterile. So, it's a hybrid fertility. All right. Reduce the hybrid fertility. Okay, let's look at the third question. In North America, the geographical range. Okay, so this is the keyword you of the western spotted skunk and the eastern spotted skunk overlap. Okay. Okay. The western spotted skunk mates in the late summer. See, this is the keyword. And this one 
due to uh, late winter. So, nampak tak? Summer and winter. So, this one is definitely temporal isolation. So, easy. Eh? You just looking for the keyword. Then you can come up with the answer. Okay. So, the last question. Okay. Two fly species. Okay. All right. Tak kisahlah what genus is this. So, occur in the same geographical Oops, okay, same geographical area, but the apple maggot fly feed on the mates on the houghton and apples while it's close relative to the mandax. Mates in the lay eggs only on blueberry. Okay, so nampak? They give the different, this one, apple, blueberry. Okay, so can you see the relation here? What is the answer? It's a habitat. Because it's a two different area. Actually, the apple and the blueberry for the, the fly is their habitat. Okay? All right. For us, it's a food. That's a different thing. All right. So, can you understand it? How to tackle if they give you all the species that you never heard about it? But don't worry. You're just looking for the keyword, which is the, uh, for example, here, apple. Uh, just now, is the uh, different mating season. Uh, all that will be appear in the question. Okay. Let's have a look at the second question. In a population of rabbits live in a forest, okay, uh, in the US, a large group of uh, rabbits is cut off from the population. Okay, this is the keyword, eh? Okay, so when the sixth lane of highway is built, okay, this is the problem, eh? So over many generations, the large group of rabbit begins to develop darker fur, Respond to the dominant foliageal okay, side of the ivy. So when rabbits from the two populations are brought together, they no longer reproduce. What kind of speciation does this represent? Okay, if you look at this, this one is similar with one of the examples that you always learn in your class. Okay, so before we answer, just have a look at this problem. Okay, so means they are uh, basically they are from the same area okay but due to the build of the highway which is about six lanes six lanes is quite uh, 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 luas eh all right so now it's uh, considered they are separated all right so it's which one allopatric or sympatric which one all right, so this one is the allopatric, which is that is a separation. So now you can see there's a river. So you just imagine this one is your highway. Okay, so the best answer would be the allopatric. So let's look at the answer. Yes, it's an allopatric position. See, it? first the question asks you to identify. So you just name it allopatric speciation. So automatically you can get the one mark here. Then describe the process. Okay. So, what you can understand in allopatric. So, the rabbit population split into two isolated populations or due to the geographical barrier. Also can. Okay. Uh, so, this one lah. Alright. Okay. Uh, this one actually no need lah. Okay. So, this one just for your understanding. So, the gene pool will be interrupted by the physical barrier. Okay. So, each of the isolated population may undergo a phenotypic or genotypic divergent because they are already established in two different areas. So, the uh, gene flow is cannot occur. So, they establish in their own two ge uh, geographical area. Okay. So, this is the simple method. You just identify what is the situation given. Okay. All right. And reproduction isolation is established between the two population. All right, clear. Eh? Okay, now let's go for the question number three. Okay, once again, they give you the situation. A population of giraffe lives in the forest with uh, trees of varying height. Following a flood in the area, so all shorter plants were destroyed and only the tall trees remain. After many generations, it's, it is noted that the giraffes lived in this forest have a longer neck on average, than giraffe living in the same forest prior to the flood. What kind of selection does this represent? And you have to explain. Okay, so if like this, if you see the condition here, there is a flood causing the, uh, they destroy the plant. Okay, so after a few generations, all the giraffes, they're having a longer neck. Okay, 
So we can clearly see this one is more to the natural selection. Am I right? Because they occur over the time period and they naturally adapted to the new environment. Okay, or new habitats. Okay, so now we have a tree, stabilizing, directional and disruptive. So you think which one is the best for here? Okay, so if you look at here, okay, they have a longer neck on average than the giraffe leaf prefer. So they're having a longer neck. Uh -huh. So which one is the best? Is it disruptive? Okay, stabilizing is impossible. Okay, so between these two. Is it disruptive? No, they only give you one characteristic, am I right? Longer neck. So the best will be the directional. Yes, it's a directional. So now, what is the point for the directional? The new environment favor the giraffe with the longer neck. Okay, so you just take one point. Eh? Why the longer neck? So the giraffe with the longer neck have a higher chance to survive because all the uh, shorter plant is destroyed due to the flood. Okay, so that's why. So after many generations, giraffes with the longer neck has a greater proportion. Okay, or most of the giraffe have the longer neck. Uh, so this is the natural selection. So easy, eh? easy to tackle. Actually, if they give you the karangan like this, it's really easy for you to identify. The information is in your question. Okay. So now let's go for question number four. Okay, this is the question. Okay, it's a very simple question, straightforward. You are very lucky if this types of question come out in your PSPM. Okay, explain the bottleneck effect. Right, before you straight away jump to your answer, please identify first. Okay, bottleneck effect is come under factor involved in the formation of new species. Okay, and for this one, we have all together four. We have a hybridization, isolating, we have an adaptive radiation, and we have a genetic drift. And bottleneck specifically is under genetic drift. Okay, right. So, what is the bottleneck? Uh, don't you assume the species put inside the bottle and then you remove after that? No. Okay, so bottleneck means, okay, so the, the uh, overrepresented and other underrepresented among the survivor. Okay, more likely to affect the population with a small number of individuals. Okay, means it's a drastic changes in population. That will be your keyword. Okay, so bottleneck occur when a large population is suddenly reduced into smaller. So that's my keyword. Okay, sudden changes. All right. So why? Due to the random events. Okay, that's why we, we, if you put the species inside the bottle, then you just uh, upper remove back. So whatever is a come out. So we assume sudden events occur there. Okay. Uh, sudden event here can be natural disaster, tsunami, uh, disease, or whatever. Okay. Some allele may be eliminated and also overrepresented by chance. Okay. So regardless of the whether the allele is beneficial or harmless. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. So this one is uh, really easy for you to score because it's straight away. Okay. Then the last question for the uh, speciation, uh, selection and speciation. Explain the founder effect. Okay. So if you recall that just now. Alright, so this one also under uh, bottleneck effect. Okay, so if founder, okay, what you can understand by founder, okay, when a part of large population move to the new location. Okay, so you are the one who found the new environment. It's like that, founder effect. So they have a left of the original population and become their own unique population. So it's like this. So from the big population, you isolate yourself and you go to the one environment and you are the founder for that environment or that area. So then uh, you establish in that area, okay, until the founder population are more, uh, have a few more generations there. Okay, so this is the point. The founder occur when a small population is isolated from the original population. So if you can recall that, you can imagine this diagram, actually you just mentioned step by step. So... The small population is isolated from its original population. Okay, why? To form a new population here. See, allele frequency of the new population may not be the same as the original population. So you can see, yes, it's not the same. It won't be the same. Okay, because the allele frequency, this one is a small population, this one is a big population. So as a result, the new population may differ both genetically and phenotypically from the original population. So after a few generations, if you look at here, the population, okay, they are different. 
Okay, so maybe due to uh, genetically or also uh, phenotypically. All right, so this is the uh, founder effect. All right, okay, so that's all for my part. Uh, thank you, everyone. Selamat ulang kaji.